Well, should Michigan change or get rid of its gas tax? That is the question MDOT is asking, and they will pay you for your answer. Right now, that tax sits at 28.6 cents a gallon. It is the sixth highest in the nation. The money helps maintain our state's roads and transportation infrastructure, but with more people driving electric vehicles, is that tax fair or even sustainable? A lot of strong feelings on this one, and where you stand may depend heavily on what you drive. 7 Action News reporter Tierra Braddock is gathering multiple viewpoints from the drivers of three different vehicles, including a gas-powered SUV, a fuel-efficient smaller car, and an electric vehicle. Would you rather pay Michigan's gas tax at the pump or based on how many miles you drive? That's the question MDOT is asking drivers in a new survey. I think just keep it as is. So I guess it would have come down to, you know, how, how it fits my lifestyle. Well, um, I would prefer it to be on the gas. As you can tell, the answer to MDOT's question depends on who you ask and what they drive. Glenn Martin drives a small SUV. We got it going good right now, just keep it going. And we already pay enough in taxes, so hey, just keep it the way it is. MDOT says gas tax based on miles driven could help people who have larger vehicles and have to pay more taxes at the pump, like Tyler Goodman, who has an F-150. I drive about 30 miles round trip a day, uh, so I guess I'd have to take a look and see what I'm currently contributing now based on a dollar per gallon tax versus miles per driven tax. State lawmakers are also looking at gas tax alternatives as more and more people buy electric vehicles and are not paying gas taxes at the pump. Paul O'Donovan owns a Tesla and isn't for the miles per driven tax. And I already pay um, huge taxes to have an electric car. Um, I don't know how you would monitor road usage. As far as road usage monitoring goes, MDOT official Gene Rustman says they hope to get feedback from residents on the best way to track the mileage. Other states are using self-reporting or there's a, an, an OBU, an onboard unit that you would plug into your car that could collect your mileage. There's apps that could be used. Rustman says she wants drivers to know there won't be any policy changes regarding gas taxes anytime soon. This is a way for their to get their voices heard early, very early in this process. And there will be a lot more study before Michigan ever does enact if we choose to enact road use charges. MDOT is encouraging drivers to fill out that survey. You can find a link to it on our website, WXYZ.com. In Detroit, Tierra Braddock, 7 Action News. All right, thank you much, Tierra. And if you complete that MDOT survey, you will get a $10 gift card, but you must be at least 18 years old and a Michigan resident to qualify. Would you do it, Rexy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All I right, think we do tolls. All right.